everything looks great very simple these are flexible too right so you can move them and position them as needed Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today, I'm gonna to be checking out the Be Quiet Peer Loop CPU Cooler. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out. Everything looks great. They walk us through some of the key features and tech specs. So with this particular cooler, this features the Peer Wings 2 fans that are very durable and quiet. We also have the 280 millimeter version. This is available in multiple sizes. And lastly, you may notice on our cooling block right here, we actually have white LEDs to illuminate it, which is really neat. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature with our disclaimers, and we have our user guide and manual for the 120, 240, 280, and 360 millimeter versions with QR codes as well for more product information. And they walk you through everything you need to know about installing this, whether you're using AMD or Intel for your CPU. Step-by-step -step charts and diagrams helping you along the way to get it properly installed. Available in multiple languages. Next, you can see we have our power cable and adapters right here. We have our screws some zip ties, we have our Intel and AMD installation brackets in here, and we have our thermal paste. Next, you can see we have 100 milliliters of coolant when we need to refill. Next, we have our two identical Be Quiet Peer Wings 2 fans. So you can see right there, PWM, 1600 RPM. So check that out. They look really nice. Again, they're identical to each other. Next, you can see we have the cooler itself with the Be Quiet logo and branding. Don't forget, this will illuminate on our aluminum block. And then you can see we have our cable coming out of that to connect. We have our radiator that also says Peer Loop on it. Then you can see right here, we have our additional cable to connect. Check it out from the back side. You can see it from both sides. Pretty standard stuff. And then here's the bottom of our block right here, our cooling block. With our two screws on it, we have to remove that cover before use. So that's everything that's included. Now let's go ahead and let's get this installed. All right, so check it out. You can see we have the PC built and the cooler installed. Let's look at the cooler up close. So here's the cooler, check it out. You can see how we have the radiator mounted to the front of our panel and we chose to route it up top. Depending on your configuration, your GPU, everything else, you would be able to flip this around to the bottom. If you are using this particular case, you won't be able to mount the 280 millimeter version up top. It does not have support for it, but if you had a 240 millimeter version or less, you would be able to mount it up there. But check it out, everything looks great, very simple. These are flexible too, right? So you can move them and position them as needed. This runs really quiet. You'll be hard pressed to hear any trickling water, maybe upon initial startup or depending on how you have it configured with your radiator and pump and which is higher, that sort of thing. But in this case, right now, as you can hear, it's not making any noise. And again, it looks really, really nice. I love the light how bright it is, it looks really sharp, especially matching the white case light that we have with our particular build. Everything's really minimal and clean, and I really like how this looks. Now let's go ahead, let's see how it performs. So check it out, you can see with the PC powered on at idle, and these are the real-time results that you're seeing of our CPU temps with our Peer Loop cooler. So keep in mind, depending on your build, the CPU you're using, the case you're using, additional fans, that sort of thing, your results will vary. But at idle for our particular build, you can see we're hovering around 24 degrees Celsius or a little bit lower. Now let's go ahead, let's put this under 100% load, let it run and see how hot it gets. All right, so check it out. Now you can see the CPU's at 100% load. It's been running for a couple of minutes that way and I haven't seen the temperature crest above 67 degrees Celsius. So you can see right here, typically under 100% load for the test that we're running. It's around that 63, 64 degrees. I've seen it dip to 59 and jump up to 66 and then 67. But you can get an idea for what it's like with this cooler. It's doing a fantastic job keeping our CPU that's under 100% load and stress 
nice and cool and well within range. So now let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the Be Quiet Peer Loop 280 millimeter cooler. I gotta say overall, very simple to install. Very happy with it overall. I don't really have anything negative to report back. Here are a couple things I'd like to see changed in the future. So the first one for me is if you can tell in the actual design, we have a pretty big and bulky piece of plastic up at the top where the hoses connect to the radiator and we have one of our power cables running out of there. I would love to see that changed and reconfigured in the future. It's just not the cleanest look to me, so I'm being really picky there with my own personal taste, but I'd love to see that redesigned in a way that maybe they can eliminate it or make it much smaller or somehow incorporate that to the actual radiator itself and not have it at all. So that's the biggest thing I'd want to see change with this cooler. That's more so with looks than regards to functionality because it works great. It's cooled off our 12 700K under full load. I can't really ask for anything else. Maybe some additional ARGB fans. That would be cool if we could have those included by default right in the box and maybe some more lights. I don't know. Maybe they could light the loops to the radiator. Maybe they could light the radiator. That'd be fun if they could continue to incorporate creative ways to add more RGB. I would be a big fan of that. But overall, simple cooler that works to keep your CPU nice and cool. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.